Hi, everyone. Hi, Jason. Hey. So how many of you guys have gotten a homework problem where it was so open-ended and so crazy that you just didn't know where to start? I can't, I I can't see any of you guys, but I, I, assume, I, I see some hands in the front row. But anyway, I'm here to tell you that that happens in college, in grad school, and happens in real life. And this is what our prompt was in the middle of last fall. So our prompt was to do anything you want to make a positive impact on people. And we had a whole year to do something. And of course, we did not know what to do. So that, that was Eugene back, back then. And to start, we, did, we, we decided that what we should do is we should just think of a lot of different ideas. We decided to brainstorm. So we came up with a lot of different things. Uh, drip irrigation in India, designing a new mailbox. But what we ended up wanting to focus on was something that was fun, something that had to do with schools, and something that had, to do, had a truck. So <laughs> we got an old food truck and uh, started to try to figure out what to do with it. We got so excited when we finally got that truck. This was this goal of ours to get this truck. And when we finally got it, it was like, oh, success is it's, difficult. It's kind of a, uh -huh. a lot of empty space. So, so <laughs> as you remember in Mariana's talk earlier when she was introducing us to the process of design, after brainstorming, you have a lot of prototyping to do. And, and as we prototyped different things to do with the truck, uh, there were a lot of failures that came along the way. Uh, we decided that we want to do something uh, educational, something to make school more fun. So we're going to make this inflatable classroom. That, that goes out of the back of the truck. Something about inflatable classrooms that's not different from those dry cleaning bags you get that say never let children anywhere near these. <laughs> so, so we were quick, quick, quickly uh, were pointed out to us the fact that you know, there's no exits in there and you will kill people. Um, so, so we learned to, to accept failure and shelf prototypes and you know, many, many more iterations later, the truck finally looks like this. And the good news is it's here today. You get to go check it out at lunch right after this. So um, come on over. Um, and then things like, how do you decorate the truck? Well, maybe we could just wait until we meet all the awesome kids and other grown-ups and people that we interact with and have them leave ideas and their own brainstorms as post-its on the ceiling of the truck. And that's how the ceiling of the truck looks like today. Um, we started running hands-on workshops to teach kids creativity. And um, one of the workshops was to make a stamp. And these are some of the handles for the stamps. Now, again, in the spirit of prototyping, this was about the eighth attempt at trying to bake these clay handles in the oven. The reason you're not seeing the first several attempts is because they looked like black charcoal and were too embarrassing to photograph. <laughs> um, but eventually, you know, a little bit more prototyping. We figured out what kind of workshops we wanted to run. And we um, started driving around teaching kids about arts and crafts and making cannons and other crazy things. So were we successful? Well, I don't know. But here's what happened. So this is one of the early postcards that we got from a student. And it, was, it, made, it really made our day. It actually made our entire summer. Um, and we had a lot of fun. And this is us in, in front of a library in Aberdeen, Washington. So that's a place that we never would have gone. This is another place we never would have gone uh, except for that we're on this amazing journey where we got to prototype and explore and things like that. But here are some numbers. So over the course of about four months, we hit 33 states, drove 15,323 miles, put 1,372.2 <laughs> gallons of gas in the truck. I still feel bad about that. <laughs> and we collected 2,697 samples and thousands of stories <clears throat> all throughout our journey. And the stories we find are some of the more fun parts of the process. Um, and being here today with telling our story to you and, and listening to all the other stories from our amazing speakers is one of the most amazing, fun parts of the design process. And so here's our challenge to you. One year from now, we want one of you to be on this stage telling us the story of something amazing that you did, even though you didn't know how to start because you had an idea that something would be fun and worthwhile, and you jumped right in. And get in touch. We really want to hear from you guys. So drop us a line at hello.sparktruck.org to tell us how your projects and your designs and your ideas are going. And we'll see you up here in a year. Thank you.